everybody, and welcome to Lady Burton of Ashley. My name is Simone, oh. and this is George, and this is where we watch movies and television. We're watching Good Will Hunting. Mm-hmm. Uh, who is Will, and why are they hunting him? <laughs> or is it Good Will? Like, like they're trying will? to be like, like, like they're trying to be better people. They're trying to be helpful. Like Good Will. It's a oh. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're hunting the store goodwill it's it's a it's thrift store shopping and you're hunting for the perfect pair of jeans that totally sounds like the kind of movie that would star matt damon in for sure Batman. for sure he's definitely single <laughs> as Just... i look at my mattress on the ground <laughs> oh, next no. to me <laughs> wait that apartment that he was in was not in this house mod fx square dx now the person to do so will not only be in my good graces, but also go on to fame and fortune. If you have any questions, I'm sure that Tom has the answers. What's his name? Bob? <laughs> he does not have bitch tits. Why didn't you give me none of that nasty little hoochie woochie you usually throw at? <laughs> <laughs> hoochie woochie? Like I waste my energy spreading my legs for that tootsie roll dick. <laughs> Is he working at MIT to pay for his studies? Oh. Just draws a dick on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ow. God. Jesus. Ugh. Best friends. <laughs> we just couldn't wait until Monday to find out. Find out what? Who proved the theorem? Oh. Oh, we actually... It wasn't a penis drawing. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like a like a genius who can't afford to go to MIT, so he's mm. just stealth learning. Stealth learning. That's awesome. Carmine Scott Pagley, that kid used to beat the shit out of me in kindergarten. Okay. Yeah. I wanna know where their accent's from. Kindergarten. <laughs> uh where's where's Peter Griffin from? <laughs> Let's go to Kelly's. Mark, you England? I'm not going to Kelly's just because you like the takeout. Bro. I had a double burger. Did you shut the fuck up? I know what you want. We'll put you on a program. Every day you come in with your six cents, and at the end of the week you get your sandwich. <laughs> we just seen the guy 15 minutes ago at the park. If he was going to fight him, we should fight him then. We got snacks now. <laughs> we got snacks <laughs> now. It's me, Will. Remember, we went to kindergarten oh, together. Oh, down. His name's Will. Interesting way of showing the fight. Just slow motion. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh. Oh, he's getting carried away. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So he's like a genius with some sort of darkness inside. That shot of him like repeatedly just pounding on that guy's yeah. face. That... Yes. Well, by no stretch of my imagination do I believe you've all come here to hear me lecture. The gauntlet has been thrown down. <laughs> oh, Boston. South Boston, it says. Okay, so he solves another one. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he's gonna get cut. He's. A... Oh. What is that? Just connect the dots. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's math. <laughs> Less people's work. You can't graffiti here. It says a lot about his character that he just naturally assumes someone is graffitiing it. <laughs> well, just I because mean, that guy was in a jumpsuit, like. But also, like it took them two years. To do. Shut up, you get canned more than tuna, bitch. So, you, got a mother <laughs> you get canned more than tuna. This is a hobbit bot, huh? I thought they'd be like equations and shit on the wall. Oh, Harvard bar. I thought he said hobbit bar. I was like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. <laughs> What, I don't... Uh, what class did you did you say that was? Yeah, it was. It was surveys. Right. You should check it out. It's a good course. This guy's an asshole. Like, mm -hmm. Go away! I'm just having fun with my new friend, that's all. Wait, we gonna have a problem? No, 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 no. Oh, God. My contention is that uh, prior to the Revolutionary War, agrarian pre capital All right, of course that's your Hang contention. On a it's keyboard warriors before the internet. Mm. Economies of Virginia and Pennsylvania were entrepreneurial <laughs> and capitalist way back in 1740. All right. This wood drastically underestimates the impact wood of social distinction. <laughs> Impact the social distinctions predicated upon wealth, especially inherited wealth. Oh, okay. Work in Essex County, page 98, right? So he's got an eidetic memory. Mm hmm. The fact that there are two certainties in life one, don't do that. Two, you dropped 150 grand on a fucking education you could have got for $1.50 in late charges at the public library. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> but I mean, if you have a problem like that, I mean, we could just step outside. We could figure it out. No, nah, man, there's no problem. My boy's wicked smart. <laughs> I ever had a receding hairline and I was a few pounds overweight and I was like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> You're an idiot. I've been sitting over there for 45 minutes waiting for you to come and talk to me. That's so cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get up early and waste some more money on my overpriced education. <laughs> no, I didn't mean you. I... Do you like apples? Oh. <laughs> well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> okay. It makes sense now with context. <laughs> do you like apples? I still don't understand what that means. Do you like apples? Yeah, I wonder where that comes from. That's curious. I have this guy who works in my building. He's about this high. Which one long. is your building? I can't give you his name unless you have a complaint. Got this job through his PO. You can call him. PO? Whereby a defendant can't claim self-defense against an agent of the government by the Constitution of the United States. This is the same document which the guarantees my liberty. The United Too tight. Without liberty, man is a cinco. Man is a what? <laughs> and had the case thrown out by citing free property rights of us and Carrick. I'm also aware that you've been through several foster homes. $50,000 bail. Holy Thank shit. you. Which he obviously doesn't have. Yeah. But under two conditions. What are those? Combinatorial mathematics. And the second condition is that, that you see a therapist. He probably should. It's better than spending that time in jail, isn't it? It's really hard for me to not see this professor as... <laughs> Oh, yeah. A career politician in Chernobyl. <laughs> yeah. Go to Patreon and check out. Sorry. <laughs> I had to sneak that in there. <laughs> Just his growly voice in that show and how intense he is. Oh, he's great. It's an interesting way of writing K. Hmm. Do you notice that? I don't know anybody who writes like oh, that. Oh, it's a like K. a V and then a... Yeah. A oh, yeah, line. that is interesting. There are no more shenanigans, no more tomfoolery, no more ballyhoo. What does ballyhoo mean? I don't know, this movie has so many slogans or <laughs> phrases that I've never heard of. The music like owns you. It's like mm -hmm. that house music. It's like bum, 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 boom. Come on, he's, he's so obviously <laughs> Oh my him. God, the dancing. But why though? Do you find Just it hard to hide it. the fact that you're gay? I don't care if you putt from the rough. Why do you putt from the rough? I've never heard that before. Look at this guy though, just like. <laughs> Just hitting on the students. My goodness. I tell you, much less talk to that raving loony in there. An absolute lunatic he is. That's the signature of a terrible psychiatrist. Yep. Start dancing. The dancing is beautiful. <laughs> Sky rockets in flight. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, come on. I He left. You can't pin that on me. Well, there is someone. Who is he? My roommate in college. Is it the Ghostbusters? Trust is, uh, trust is life. <laughs> it's very deep. Thank you, Vinny. <laughs> trust is like life, man. Trust is like life, you know? We talk about Freud, why he did enough cocaine to kill a small horse. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a full schedule. Sean, I'm, Sean. I'm very busy. <laughs> this this boy is incredible. I've never seen anything like him. Well, because you have the same kind of background. He's from Southie. Yeah. Southie. South Boston? It's a poker wow. game with this kid. Don't let him know what you got. This is Sean McGuire. Will Hunting. Why? are you? Oh, that's his name. Oh, like, Will I mean, Hunting. Will, but like Hunting is his last name. Oh, and he's good. Okay. And he's, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm not here for a fucking book report. They're your books. Why don't you read them? I did. I had to. The United States of America, a complete history. Volume one. Trying to decipher who this person is and how to press his buttons. Mm -hmm. You know you'd be better off shoving that cigarette up your ass. It'd probably be healthier for you. <laughs> Free weights, huh? Yeah, big time. Yeah, just like that. What do you mm. bench? Two eighty-five. What do you bench? Mm. You paint that? It's interesting. He's just letting him take the conversation whichever direction. Yeah. It's a real piece of shit. Oh, well, tell me what you really think. <laughs> you know what the real bitch of it is? It's paint by number. <laughs> I think you're about one step away from cutting your fucking ear off. Think I should move to the south of France, change my name to Vincent? It's falling on your head, the waves are crashing over your little boat. Maybe you married the wrong woman. Maybe you should watch your mouth. Oh. Watch it right there, Chief, all right? Shit. What happened? Why'd she leave you? Oh, yeah. Respect my wife again. I will end you. I will fucking end oh. you. Holy shit. That changed in like a second. 
And then he's back to sad again. That was crazy. Like leading up to it too was just like. Mm hmm. <sighs> yeah, because it felt for a long time, it felt like he was up to the challenge, right? Like they were just kind of verbal sparring mm. really, really quick. And then just suddenly, as soon as you go near the topic of his wife. Even before that, it was like s something was like building and that was, oh shit. It got to him, didn't it? Or this is just his life and it's, you know. Well, I think we should just get out of the way now. <laughs> With a mouthful of burgers. Mm -hmm. oh. I think I got some of your pickle. <laughs> it's kind of gross. It's kind of gross, but it's still, still cute. Come with me. You got a thing for swans? Is this like a fetish? It's oh, God, stop being such an asshole. You're just a kid. If I asked you about art, you'd probably give me the skinny on every art book ever written. I bet you can't tell me what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. Mm-hmm. If I ask you about women, you'd probably give me a syllabus of your personal favorites. But you can't tell me what it feels like to wake up next to a woman and feel truly happy. Feeling like God put an angel on earth just for you. Oh. To have that love for her be there forever through cancer. Because the doctors could see in your eyes that the terms visiting hours don't apply to you. Oh. I see a cocky, scared, shitless kid. But you presume to know everything about me because you saw a painting of mine. Do you think I'd know the first thing about how hard your life is? Because I read all of the twist. Unless you want to talk about you. And I'm fascinated. I have full body goosebumps. This writing is amazing. I know. Okay. I want to like go back and watch that entire monologue again. Oh my god. The delivery, the writing, all of it. I don't think anybody else on Earth could deliver that monologue the way that Robin Williams just did because of his own internal real-life struggles. I mean, it didn't talk. You were in there for an hour. Just oh. sat there counting the seconds until the session was over. <laughs> yeah, he is just a kid, isn't he? If we do the whole thing this way, then... Hey, they... look, look. It's simpler this way. Sometimes people get lucky. <laughs> You're a brilliant man. That is oh, so disheartening, cool. though. Yeah, if you spend years working on something and some kid just comes along and solves it in one night. Yeah, that's, that's it's, rough. It, it's hard to continue, because, like, what's the point? Yeah, but I, I really like the moment of the TA, like, putting the hand on the shoulder, being like, I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sleeping? <laughs> I have been late, you know. Really? Good Great for you. Too. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> yeah, but this girl's like, you know, beautiful. She's smart. She's fun. Why? So I can realize she's not that smart that she's fucking boring. Hmm. Maybe you're perfect right now. Maybe you don't want to ruin that. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And check out our Patreon for exclusives. And now, back to the movie. But I think that's a super philosophy, Will. That way you can go through your entire life without ever having to really know anybody. My wife used to fart when she was nervous. She had all sorts of wonderful little <laughs> idiosyncrasies. You know, what? She used to fart in her sleep. <laughs> <laughs> One night it was so loud it woke the dog up. She woke up and go like, oh, was that you? I said, yeah, I didn't have a... <laughs> She woke herself up. She woke herself <laughs> She's been dead two years and that's the shit I remember. The little idiosyncrasies that only I know about. People call these things imperfections. Oh, that's the good stuff. The question is whether or not you're perfect for each other. If I can talk more than any shrink I ever seen in my life. First thing is, I wonder if that laughing between the two of them was real on set, because Robin Williams just made Matt Damon laugh. Oh. She's dead. I mean, that way you could actually go through the rest of your life without ever really knowing anybody. But also, you know what that moment reminded me of? Which one? Similar to the moment in Saving Private Ryan when Matt Damon was telling the story of his brothers in that movie. Mm. And it was like, between two extreme moments of sadness, there was like a random burst of levity and yeah. wheezing laughter. Yeah. Well, to me, that's just good writing. You can't have mm -hmm. it all like being drugged down in the depths of despair. It's gotta. Yeah. You can be super depressed and still laugh. <laughs> Where have you been? She's so cute. I'm sorry. I've been like, I've been really busy and I was wondering if, uh, if you know, you'd give me another crack at it. I didn't mean I can't like ever. Just <laughs> can't right now. But then maybe some other time. So like tomorrow? We all need to find somebody that looks at us like she looks at him. Mm-hmm. Oh, did he do her homework for her? Oh, no. Who the fuck did you get this? Yeah. I had to sleep with someone in your class. 
Holy shit, those dogs. Still glad for my win. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. I have 12 big brothers. You do not. I, I swear to God. Oh, the orphanage, 12 brothers. Mm. Maki, Ricky, Danny, Terry, Mikey, Davey, Timmy, Tommy, Joey, Robbie, Johnny, and Brian. I'm, I'm living with three of them right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. All orphanage. You ever wonder what your life would be like if you uh, if you never met your wife? No. Her off. I didn't mean it. Like, it's all right. It's an okay. Oh. He's, he's caring a little yes. bit, like in how oh he says God. things. So when did you know, like, that she was the one for you? It was game six of the World Series. You got tickets? Yep. Steps up to the plate. You know, he's got that weird stand. Yeah. <laughs> he's waving at the ball like a madman. Yeah, he's going, Get up! <laughs> Get up! <laughs> <laughs> And now it's just Robin Williams riffing. Oh, no. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! <laughs> I feel I wasn't there. It's in a bar. I'm going to drink with my future wife. <laughs> to have a fucking drink with some lady you never met? Oh. God, and who are these fucking friends of yours? They let you get away with that? They had to. Just slid my ticket across the table and I said, Sorry, guys. I got to see about a girl. Wow. I don't regret the 18 years I was married to Nancy, and I don't regret the last years when she got really sick. God damn it, this movie! It would be yeah. nice to catch that game, though. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure that they keep using Elliot Smith songs, which is... They keep going from, like, a hyper comedic fun talk, and it just suddenly drops a bomb on you. Will I ever play in the NBA? It is decidedly so. <laughs> <laughs> What if I said I would not sleep with you again until you let me meet your friends? 30 in the morning, they're probably up. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of my wiener, can I get like an advance payment? No. <laughs> <laughs> wiener. <laughs> well, like, if Lady brought Skyler here, we'd be Uncle Marty. Let me tell you what happened to my Uncle Marty. Uncle Marty. Pukes on the guy. Stady's pretty sure he's over the legal limit. Okay. Gunshot? No, some. No. some... <laughs> You've heard the story before. <laughs> anyway, how can you hear the other shot? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> my uncle starts wondering what he's doing there. Gets up, gets in his car, and just drives home. I pulled you over last night as what? You fucking took off. Takes him out of the garage, opens the door. This is Daddy's police cruiser. Is in my uncle. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I've been driving around all night in my uncle's Chevelle. Come on, Are you stop. Fucking, I'm, you know, I'm trying you're, to clarify something, probably. You're embarrassing. <laughs> such an idiot. There's an old couple in 50th anniversary. Anything your little heart desires, I'm going to give it to you. All right. She takes the teeth out. That was the most beautiful, earth-shattering thing ever. And Mary looks up at him and she goes, Do this for kids. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> no, not tonight. Oh no, not tonight. Not any other night. If I want to meet your brothers. No, we're gonna do that another time. My phone's been ringing off the hook with job offers. Right? Yeah, I like. I kind of forgot all about his genius. <laughs> yeah, so invested in like his relationship with Robin Williams and his relationship with the um, mm -hmm. Skyler. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I need to get some smoked meat sandwiches after. You've heard of Albert Einstein? <laughs> How about Gerald Lambo? Ever heard of him? So who won the bet? I did. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Can you imagine if Einstein would have given that up just to get drunk with his buddies in Vienna every night? In the 1960s, there was a young man graduated from University of Michigan. Yeah, so who was he? Ted Kaczynski. Oh. Who's Ted Kaczynski? Unibob. Yeah. Oh. He can contribute to the world, and, and we can help him do that. Fine, Sean, I'm not sitting at home every night twisting my mustache. There's more to life than a fucking Fields medal. Why don't we give him time to figure out what he wants? Worked wonders for you, didn't it? Yeah, it did, you arrogant fucking prick. Ooh. Wow, I, d d pulling out Ted Kaczynski as an example is a great use. You think you can uh, find somebody who does? Oh! I'll tell you, you have my blessing. What? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> and he's gonna scam about us some cash. Two hundred dollars in my back pocket right now. Where'd he get that suit? Look at his hair. But after the shit you tried to pull today, you can bet I'll be looking into you. <laughs> Come on, give me one little peek. No. About the bad it is actually important that I learn this. So much fun studying organic chemistry. Are you mad? <laughs> You know, there are very smart people here at Harvard, and even they have to study because this is really hard. He did it in like an afternoon. 
Mm -hmm. You do it so easily, I don't understand. I, I... The mm -hmm. Beethoven, Mozart, they saw it, they could just play. I mean, when it came with stuff like that, I could always just play. Wait, so maybe he doesn't uh, have an I eidetic memory? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to do it. <laughs> oh, I gotta write that down. I feel it. Because that's a really serious thing you say. I mean, you know, maybe you wish you hadn't said that, but you know, it's such a serious thing that you can't take it back. I just want you to come to California with me. If you don't love me, you should just tell me I'm because it's such a love. You. And you're scared shitless oh, no. to do don't, anything don't, else. Because don't tell me about my world. Mm hmm. And just sit around with the other trust fund babies and talk about how you went slumming too <sighs> once. He's immediately self sabotaging. What is your obsession with this? Don't put your shit on me when you're the one that's afraid. Fuck it, I want to give it a shot, and at least I'm honest with you. What do you want to know? What? That I don't have 12 brothers? You don't want to hear that I got it. fucking cigarettes put out of me when I was a little kid. Okay. What do I got? A fucking sign on my back that says save me? No, fucking no, bullshit no, no. me! <laughs> I want to hear you say that you don't love me. Like, he's that <sighs> afraid that he's, like, oh my god, oh my god. He's already decided for everybody else that they're gonna judge him for his upbringing, for his past life. Yeah. And therefore, he's perpetually just on the offensive. But did you think of the possibility? That's right. Let's right. take it home with you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, maybe I don't want to spend the rest of my fucking life sitting around explaining shit to people. Do you know how easy this is for me? I'm gonna sit here and watch you fumble around and fuck it up. Oh. Oh, God, that's fucking brutal. This is probably a total waste of my time. It's just a handful of people in the world who can tell the difference between you and me. Most days I wish I never met you. I didn't, I didn't have to walk around with the knowledge that there was someone like you out there. I, I didn't have to watch you throw it all away. Oh my god, like he's like on his knees, like, mm -hmm. like scram, like, you know, like that's so heartbreaking. I, I so get his pain too, the frustration of just watching someone so gifted. Morgan, dude, why don't you jerk off in your own fucking house, dude? <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you hump a baseball glove? <laughs> Stop jerking off in my mother's room. Is there another VCR in the house? Okay, so they're not all orphans together. No, I th yeah, they're just. I thought friends. that's what that meant earlier. I thought yeah. so too, but. Yeah. Super string theory, chaos math, advanced algorithm. Why should you work for the NSA? Why shouldn't you? <laughs> that question means very different in 2022. Ooh. 1,500 people that I never met never had no problem with get killed. It'd be some kid from Southie over there taking shrapnel in the ass. And the guy who put the shrapnel in his ass got his old job, spills the oil and kills all the sea life in the North Atlantic. So what did I think? I'm holding out for something better. Just bomb a village, club a baby seal, hit the hash pipe, and join the National Guard. I could be elected president. Jesus. <laughs> because all you see is every negative thing 10 miles down the road. Yeah. I didn't ask for this. No. You were born with it. Why did you work at the most prestigious technical college in the whole fucking world? Because I don't see a lot of honor in that, Will. I want to move up to Nashua, get a nice little spread, get some sheep, and tend to them. Shit. He's starting to f people again. Yeah, it I'm is. not leaving. No. Listen, you're not going to answer my questions. To you're wasting my fucking time. Where's your soulmate? You want to yeah. talk about soulmates? Where is she? You just cash in your chips and you walk away? Hey, at least I played a hand. What do you want to do? But I ask you a very simple question and you can't give me a straight answer. Fuck you. You're the shepherd. This is going to be real hard to edit. This. <laughs> what? <It's... laughs> There's, There's so much, like, so good monologue, and I yeah. can't use the entire duration. It's just gonna get blocked. Yep. It's so frustrating watching Will because there, it's so real. It's so many people are like that. Mm -hmm. They just like decide it on everyone else's behalf. Yeah. That oh, they're they're totally already judging me. Therefore, yeah. Why even bother when no one else is thinking? about it well if he doesn't show up and i file a report saying he wasn't here and he goes back to jail it won't be on my conscience oh yeah i completely forgot it's his responsibility too yeah sit in a room and do long division for the next 50 years i want a way out of here for i mean i'm gonna fucking live here the rest of my life look you're my best friend so don't take this the wrong way 20 years if you're still living here still working construction i'll fucking kill you <laughs> oh come on why, why is it always this i mean i fucking owe it to myself you owe it to me Tomorrow, I'm gonna wake up and I'll be 50. I mean, you're sitting on a winning lottery ticket. You don't know that. But every day, I come by your house and I pick you up. Because I think maybe I'll get up there and I'll knock on the door and you won't be there. Oh. It's crazy, because those shots, too, of, like, him 
coming to the door were always silent, and I thought that was a bit odd. He's got like the best people in all aspects of his life. Yeah. Because the first thing that happened to him, he was abandoned by the people who were supposed to love him the most. Oh, he pushes people away before they have a chance to leave him. You're angry at me for doing what you could have done, but ask... Oh, he's outside. I don't blame you! It's not about you, you mathematical dick! <laughs> <That's right>. Mathematical <laughs> dick. I won't see you make him feel like a failure, too. He won't be a failure, Sean! But, but if you push him, Jerry... Oh, it's like parents. Well, usually when, when both characters are at such high levels and there's like... A lot of that stuff goes back a long way between me and him. When they're both yelling at each other, it's hard to watch, but like it's... Mm -hmm. Like all of this is warranted. Like all of that that explosion, yeah. it was built up and like needed to be let out. I helped a lot also. It wasn't good versus evil. They were, they're both right in their own way. Yes, yeah. The, the characters are beautifully written. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. I know. No, no, you don't. Oh. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me, all right? Don't fuck with me, Sean. Not you. It's not your fault. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. This movie's crazy. <laughs> What a great way to do that. It didn't need anything else, just him repeating, it's not your fault. Well, I'm curious if that was, um, yeah, I'm curious if that was a, an acting exercise. And they shot it and it, like, it fit beautifully, but I, I, I'm just, I wonder. Yeah, it's really hard to tell. <laughs> when, when the writing and the performance is so good that it fe everything feels so real, it's hard to tell if it was <laughs> an acting choice or it was improv, if it was... <laughs> written that way you know yeah I, I also i wanted to say way earlier with during ben affleck's scene telling mm -hmm. him if you're still here in 50 years i'll kill you yeah not only i think everyone should have a friend like that but i also think everyone should be a friend like that oh for sure to someone else in your life because yeah you just violate the uh, patient doctor relationship uh, <laughs> only if you grab my ass <laughs> Did he call him son more than tw like twice? There was like right before mm -hmm. the it's not your fault scene. I noticed that he called him that. Also, because at the beginning he called him sport. Oh. Oh, his dream's gonna come true. Will won't be there, right? <laughs> Sorry. I had to go see about a girl. Oh. His line. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He stole my life. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going. Oh, man. Okay, before we even start talking about this movie, uh, people on YouTube when you're watching this i don't know how long this final cut's gonna be but if it is shorter than you expected i'm sorry it's actually because we're just mostly silent throughout I, uh, a lar large say. portion of the movie <laughs> and we can't i can't just use long stretches of the movie without us talking over it and because there were so many dialogue and so much monologue i don't know how much i get to use without youtube just blocking the video so i'm sorry yeah. if it's like if it turns out to be shorter than expected. Most of the film, for most of this movie, we were just so absorbed. Yeah, it was so captivating, and it was just so, like... Yeah. Oh, God. <sighs> like, there's okay. no way I'm going to talk when Robin Williams is talking. <laughs> yeah. You know, like... Holy hell. Okay. This might so... be, like, one of my favorite movies. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. I, I'm so glad, as you said, that this movie has no villain in it. Yeah. It didn't it, need one. It didn't no, need an the, antagonist even. Well, I mean, technically, I guess Will is the antagonist. Right. Yeah. Like the against villain, himself. Yeah. The villain is his his um his dark side. With, yeah. His dark side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm also really, really glad that the film wasn't just everyone helping or trying to change Will. Yeah. But he changed other people too. Yes. It was it was very much a two way well, street with almost he every helped, character. He helped his therapist. Like he helped mm -hmm. Robin Williams. Like it was just like, oh my god. I feel like like our attention was fully on 
uh, Robin Williams' character on Matt Damon's performance on on Stellan Skarsgård's performance and Walt deservedly so. But like yeah. Ben Affleck's oh. character was really good in this. <laughs> so good, so good, and even like the little guy, like the they all played the each part so perfectly, mm-hmm. and this like I think this might be one of the perfect films. Nothing about it yeah. that that doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah, and and absolutely. um Skyler uh, Mini Driver was so wonderful. Oh, sorry. What? I didn't know that was her name. Oh. I had to, I'm looking at this, oh. the the credits and I was like who's a Mini Driver? Like as in like a, like a <laughs> oh. driving like a Mini? No. No. <laughs> like... uh, anyway, Anyways. that wraps up this episode of Cinebinge. Thanks everyone for joining us. Uh like, share, subscribe. Um and if you want to support us even further, you can join us on our Patreon. Yeah, I would like to thank all our patrons helping us keep doing this. And shout out to Goodness, Keith yes. Wood, Kevin Brown, Kev John Uga, Scarlett Weserman, uh, Shane Driscoll, Scrollsy, T Grimace, uh, Thomas Malley, Tracy Ware, Travis Piat, and Zoe Lowe. Thank you thank all very much. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Bye.